Hi everybody, I'm Jamie Geller and you're watching Quick and Kosher in the Raw. And we are making cranberry sage and chestnut Stop something. Stopping. Hi, that's such a hard title. Not just for Thanksgiving, Sukkis is a great time of year to do it, anytime in the autumn. But honestly, I love this recipe, I'm just gonna eat it now. We're happy to be shooting <laughs> this. And it's not autumn, but it's delicious. Okay, so you guys are gonna get to work tomorrow in Hadassah. The recipe really calls for water challah or any challah. But like with any stuffing or challah kugel recipe or any bread pudding, I use whatever I've got. So get to work. You guys yeah. have got, I love putting other people to work. <laughs> you guys have um, tons of hamburger buns and hot dog buns. Why? Because hubby went on a boat trip with his friends yesterday and he came back with these and these are going into our stuffing. I'm going to get to work on our celery. We want four or five stalks of celery, finely chopped for this recipe. So this goes in. Do you guys love the job I gave you? Like so tedious. That's great. Yeah, you don't mind. Do you have a specific size that you like? I like I like the one inch cubes, and I leave okay. the crust on. So I mean, okay. obviously, on something like the hamburger or the hot dog buns, that's not a problem. But even when we get to the challah, I like it with the crust. Whereas when yeah, I make my I like challah that, too. Little, that one is crust off. So this is an extra virgin cold pressed olive oil that we're going to throw into our pan here, a little more than a tablespoon. Our pan was nice and hot. I'm going to throw in our celery. Perfect. I love that sizzle, guys. Do you love that sound? Yeah. Feels like we're like in a real kitchen, yeah? Makes my mouth water. Yeah. And you don't let the bread get stale? What? So, yeah, I use bread that's stale. I use bread that's a day old. I use bread that's no. from the freezer. I use bread that's cut. Right. I use. But you don't feel like you have to get it toasty or no, anything? No, I have to. I fine. use boat trip bread that's a little bit, what, what did you say? Was the <laughs> a little damp. Yeah. I use whatever I have. This is like the fancy poor man's recipe. I love using bread scraps from my freezer, from my bread basket, whatever I've got to round out, like a bread pudding, like I said, a challah kugel. Or, in this case, the stuffing. All right, this is one cup. I think Great. we're at eight cups. Okay, bags of chestnuts. These are Geffen whole roasted and peeled chestnuts. They're delicious. They make this recipe. We want to have them. Okay. So you guys want me to? No, I'll pick up the. Okay. This is incredible that you can buy them like this. Yeah, it's so awesome. So you know that they said at Geffen that they sell incredibly in the non-kosher stores, like in middle America, year-round. People go crazy over these as a snack. Oh, really? So it's wow. a really healthy snack. Yeah. You get the kids to go for it. What brocha is a chestnut? Adama, I would think. Okay, bro. Kazanan mechalam bari pri adama. Mm. So just in half. In half. Perfect. You keep them on your board. Okay. Oh, these are great. A little slightly sweet. Love it. I used to think you could only get these Which in the I fall. Want. Right, right. So uh. this is great. You get them year round. Mm. And uh, they're peeled, which is nice. Yeah. And you can take some for tax. I took one. Yeah, it's an, I used to come to New York with my family. You get roasted chestnuts on the side mm. of the street. <laughs> but I guess that was before we were kosher. I don't know if there's any issues with that now. I had that growing up in England. Yeah? Yeah, in London we would do that Do they have too. to be kosher? I don't know. I don't want to. You know what? I don't know. Say for anyone. <laughs> but um, I don't think they're, they're right. seasoned with anything. Like no. Necessary. They're just like, yeah. yeah. And they're in the shell even. Right. You would think that would help, but I don't know either. Well, you guys, like I said, we need a rabbi to come <laughs> to these uh, video shoots. Okay, guys. So I'm coming over. If you could just, I got to get these chestnuts into our saute pan. So Perfect swipe, Hadassah. Oh, must be those arms of steel that you work out with all the time. <laughs> she got insulted that I said she had skinny arms. And it's like, I want someone to say I have skinny arms. Yeah. Right? I don't know what that's all about. Jamie, you have skinny arms. Oh, wait, I want them to say it and mean it. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's say it, mean it, and like, uh, <laughs> not be prompted. Hmm. You try it in the next video. So our dried cranberries are going in here for two minutes. These uh, celery and onions have been in here for about eight to 10 minutes. Our chestnuts, our sage, dried sage. Hadassah said uh, fresh or dried. I was like, what? Which one of you said fresh or dried? Me. Come on, girlfriend, this wow. isn't me yet. And dried parsley. So we just went two minutes for all this to warm up. So fragrant, so beautiful. So Honestly, though. don't you think it's gorgeous? Like yeah. the celery, the craisins, the sage, the chestnuts. It's so autumnal, but like I just don't know why I need to wait till November to eat this. 
so I'm not going to. Nice. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, rules, rules. You know how that goes. Chicken stock, about two cups. Salt. Pepper. Coming over. Oh my gosh. And the most important thing, challah. Anyone want to deliver? <laughs> Hang on. Okay, so we got two cups. Oh, it looks so pretty. Yeah. Beautiful. Smell. Can you smell how aromatic that is? Let's throw our challah in. Roll it? Yeah, use your hands. You do challah. I'll do salt. Some kosher salt. I'll do our coarse black pep. Okay, great. So, perfect. Hadassah, so you did a gorgeous job of mixing this. But it really is a gorgeous dish, don't you think? It's so pretty. It really Beautiful, is. aromatic, delicious. We're going to put it in a cover, put it into our oven, 400 degrees for 30 minutes. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Okay. And then for the last 10 minutes, uncover it so it gets brown and crunchy. Oh, yum. Delish. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll see you in 30. Okay, so our cranberry sage and chestnut stuffing has been in the oven for about 30 minutes covered. So what we want to do now is take off the cover. Hot, 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 hot. So we get a nice, ooh, does it look good? Delicious. Uh, a nice brown crusty top. So 10 minutes like this, uncovered, and then we get to try it. All right, our chestnut cranberry sage stuffing has been in here uncovered for the last 10 minutes. Oh, heavy mama. Come, 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 come. Oh, that looks so good, guys, right? Mm -hmm. How so delicious. delicious. Oh, take a picture for the, yeah. for Twitter, for Facebook, for whatever. Oh, sorry. Listen. Home style. Wait. <laughs> yeah, Hamish is like homey, warm, cozy. We're all eating out of the pan. Yeah. That's a total perfect definition of Hamish. Okay. Okay. This, this would kill my husband. All eating, eating out, out of the pan. pan. I already I said like... Mazonas. Well, he's not here to yeah. tell us no, right? We'll so you don't need to, to have a turkey. To get mm, half no, no. Of course not. I'm in love. I'm in love. Oh my gosh. Mm. It's really good, right? Good. This is so nice. So we have celery in here, the chestnuts. How have the chestnuts taste? Good. The cranberries and the sage. I usually do like one of my traditional stuffings for Thanksgiving, or sometimes I do very like Thanksgiving esque meal for sukkahs. It has thyme in it, but I love the sage with the chestnuts here. Yeah, this is too. so good. Okay, ladies, in unison, finish chewing, swallow. Mommy says, don't talk with your mouth full, right? That's what we tell the kids, so we shouldn't do it. Mm. Where do we get the recipe? One, two, three. Joyofkosher.com. Check it out. Yum, I love.